Now, the truth is, I have library books that reference three different Jewish men, <laughs> right? But I don't come from Jewish men, do I? No, I come from the military, the American military, and occluded in that is a book that happens to be written by a guy with an Irish-sounding name. So we've got two Jews and an Irish guy to give us reference points to whatever the fuck this is. While serving as a district judge, Gisela Triana was arrested and charged with DWI. Oh my gosh. Because she, while serving as a district judge, Gisela Triana ruled that State Board of Education could not revoke the teaching certificate of a man who had sex with a student. So, a woman who, let's see, you think if I put on some makeup I'd look like her? Actually, today I would, hmm? Yep, I might look like her. And so she was charged with a DUI. And she refused to revoke the teaching certificate of a man who had sex with a student. Why am I getting this? I already told him, stop sending me your campaign materials. All right? Are you pissed because I didn't read your opinions on the day you sent them to me? All right, well, let's see what you got to work with today, buddy. Are you even really a judge? Book number one. Oh my God, look where we are. Judge Hafella was new to the Jeffrey Epstein cases and I had never appeared in front of him before. He ultimately granted my motion for punitive damages but hinted that it was a close call. A close call? Child molestation was borderline something that should be punished? What alternative universe was I in? This was unsettling to me. Because of his words, I filed a motion the next day formally asking Judge Hafella to step down from these cases and allow a different judge to take over. Judge Hafella denied that request and remained on the girls' cases. Now, five years after Epstein filed a fake lawsuit against me and I had to sue him back, Hafella was the judge on my case. Ah, pipeline management lessons. Book number two. Certainly, the issue seemed beneath the attention of Mark Zuckerberg, who was in that period doing CEO kinds of things that the low-level employees were not privy to. The support workers were not engineers, and thus a lower life form at Facebook as far as he was concerned. But since Facebook was a small group of young people who wound up socializing almost exclusively with one another, in another sense they were peers. All right, so I'm not in that club, <laughs> right? <laughs> I might have done things kind of similar what those guys did, but this is supposed to be the club I'm in, so let's see what we get. What are we going to get? Pictures. Ah, you, you got your helium option, didn't you? Right? Because I'm not with those guys. I'm with these guys. Hollywood dentist Jack Taylor, then a lieutenant commander, was a lifelong adventurer, expert, swimmer, sailor, pilot, and arguably the first SEAL. Taylor did it all. Sea, air, and land operations, swimming above and below the water and parachuting behind enemy lines into Austria. I didn't go to Austria. I checked in in Moscow and got deployed to the Ukraine. Does that count? Well, we got one more option because Ultimately, this is supposed to go somewhere. You're not ever going to give it to the SEAL guy or his family. Oh, another picture! That's exactly what I turned to. And what did I get? My great-grandfather, William Schwartzman, immigrated to the U.S. from Austria in 1883. He later met and married Jenny Wartman in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Portrait circa 1925. 